wavy tie. I'm back again with another video. Let's get it. Now, today's video is going to be about the swim test. Man, oh man, the swim test. This is the most nerve wracking, for me at least, part of boot camp. Not the running. I could run. You know, I could do the push ups, I could do the sit ups, but I was not that good of a swimmer. So this was the worst part of boot camp for me because I was so nervous and scared about it. And I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me. Let's jump straight into it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna march far away to uh, where where you swim at. It's gonna be far. You're gonna be tired. It's gonna be a couple weeks in the boot camp, so you're gonna get used to, you know, you still kind of getting used to marching so far. Then after that, they're gonna take you into a classroom. Sorry about this air right now, man. I'm right on the air. They're gonna take you into this classroom and they just gonna teach you everything, teach you what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, and you eat lunch at that time, it's either lunch or breakfast, you eat bag nasties, which is uh, which are quick, a quick bite to eat before you, you know, go into the pool. And I learned in there, well, I said at the beginning of it, of the video I was a decent swimmer I guess you could call, say I was decent because I only can doggy back. Oh, somebody! Oh, he needs some milk this. and when the guy said uh you can't doggy paddle I shook I was shook I was like there's no way I'm gonna pass this test so you preparing for boot camp I'm thinking oh you can doggy paddle My, Recruiters is telling me, yeah, they allow you to doggy paddle. You can do swim any kind of way. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm cool. Another liar recruiter told me I get there. They're like, no, that's not acceptable. You doggy paddle, you fail. So then after the classroom and we get taught everything we're about to do, we go straight to the lockers and we, you know, get our clothes off, get the swimming clothes on and we, you know, take a quick shower, get wet. And then after that, we just go on benches. Now we're doing this, you're, you're gonna do this with your sister div or brother div, I had a sister div. So we, so we did this with our sister div. And uh, yeah, that made it a little bit more embarrassing. You know, if you didn't pass, if you had a sit, if you have a sister, Dave, you know, because you you in front of girls, man. If you don't know how to swim, they going to see you, man. They ain't going to say nothing, but you know they watching. So, you know, that's, you know, that's going to be embarrassing. So they sit you there. They just go over everything again. And then after that, if you don't know how to swim, for all the people that don't know how to swim, uh, you go, everyone everyone that knows how to swim or everyone doesn't or everyone that knows how to swim or everyone that doesn't know how to swim goes the first thing you do is you jump off uh it's like nine feet high in the air and it's like a board you jump off the board and what you have to do cross your uh cross like this do this and you jump and they tell you not to look down now if you don't know how to swim at this time they're gonna find out that you don't know how to swim because you jump into the water and they can see and there down there's people down there that will pick you up and help you get to the side if you don't know how to swim and at that point you fail but they told they told us not to look down now i'm not i'm not the best with heights i'm afraid of heights i'm gonna keep it a hundred with you so when he said not to look down i look down but i'm gonna tell you why i look down the, there was a guy like four there was like so you go two at a time and there and like four people ahead of me there's a guy and he jumped and he literally like he couldn't swim and you could just see him sinking 
and then they pulled him out of the water. It literally put so much fear in me. I'm like, man, that's gonna be me. That is literally gonna be me. I get, I get there, I'm like this. He's like, okay, go. And I literally like, I didn't go. So what happened is he gave me a little shove. They will do that. He gave me a little shove and, and then I, I went and I literally dropped in the water and I guess it was just instinct. It was literally just instinct. Didn't know how to swim. The only way I know how to swim, like I said, was doggy paddle. I didn't know how to swim. I kept literally going back and forth. I would swim like this, you know, the regular. And then I would go to my back when I got really tired. I would go to my back and just swim. And then I, yeah, that was literally just instinct because because I've never got taught it. I've literally just saw people do it before, but I wanted to pass that test so bad. So what you do, you jump off, like I said, you swim like 50, uh, 50 uh, like feet, if I'm saying that right. Yeah, yeah. You swim like 50 feet. And then after that, you get out, you pass that portion. And the people that didn't pass that portion, what they do is they go to a smaller side of the pool and they teach them how to swim. And then for a while, they teach you how to swim. You get comfortable with it in the smaller pool. And then after that, you go to a, on the side of the bigger pool. Uh, you go to that part and they teach you how to swim in the deeper one. So you get comfortable and then you retry the test all over. But for the people who pass, they go straight to, here, let me see. Oh, you go straight to the float. So what you do is you float for five minutes. We floated for five minutes and I swear to you, I got kicked so many times because they put a bunch of us in the pool at once. I got kicked so many times. It was like not even funny. Like I remember I got kicked by somebody and I, I started going underwater a little bit. I started going underwater and I was like fighting. I was like, man, I can't do this. And the person that was kicking me was like kind of like trying to use me to stay up and they got they got kicked out of the pool because they saw that but man I was so mad that he did that I was literally so mad because I barely can float what you doing trying to use me to float you know what I'm saying trying to use me to stay up so there's gonna be a bunch of people with you uh and yeah uh I didn't see anyone I know someone said they floated on their their back so I know you can or you can float like this, or you can float like just, you know, regular straight up. I kept going back and forth because, you know, never floated for five minutes straight and it was literally all just not wanting to do the test again because if you fail, you have to keep coming back during boot camp until you pass it. So not wanting to do that literally just gave me all the strength to pass. After that, you do, uh, you learn how to float with coveralls, which are these. So what you do is you, you put the coverall on and you open a little space in it and then you hurry up and trap, you know, air in it, you close it and then it literally, you literally float. That's another test that's really simple and easy. Everyone passed that. Not everyone, a lot of people are not gonna pass the five minute float. There's a lot of people that get kicked out, but if you make it past the, past the float, and like I said, the first part and then the float, you'll definitely pass, because the next part after that is, here, I, abandon ship? Yeah, the next part after that, after the, okay, so I'm gonna re-go over things so I make sure I didn't forget anything. So you got the, the jump. You got the, the swim, you got the five minute float, then you got the cover off, you know, trap air and float with the cover off. Then after that, last but not least, you got abandoned ship, which is easy. You jump from that, pla that uh, uh, platform again, but you got floaties on this time. You jump, you just swim to like a blow up uh, fake type shit and you just swim to it, jump on, jump off, and then you pass. And man, it was literally, like I said, it was literally just not wanting to fail and keep doing that over and over throughout boot camp that made me pass. I was not a swimmer at all. Like I said, I had to doggy paddle. Well, 
I couldn't doggy paddle, but all my life I've been doggy paddling. So I'm telling you, if you don't know how to swim, you gonna wanna learn because I literally had someone in my boot camp. I'm not trying to call nobody out, but I'm telling y'all to help y'all out. I had somebody in my boot camp that he was literally the fastest runner, most in shape. He was our uh, athletic petty officer. He was literally the, the fastest, the most in shape in boot camp. He literally got asthma into another division because all throughout the time in boot camp, he could not pass his swim test. That's literally what got him placed into another division. Now we're graduated, we're gone, and we're in A school, and he's still back there trying to pass his swim test. Now, so I'm telling you, it's very important that you know how to swim. They're not gonna be like, oh, you didn't try the swim test three, four times now, we'll just let you pass. No, if you don't pass that swim test, you have to keep doing it, and you keep getting placed back into other divisions. I'm telling you, they will help you and they will teach you because there were people that passed once they got taught. There are actually a lot of people. I think most people from that group who didn't pass the first time, they passed the second time, and then uh, they got to, you know, they got to pass. What they do in, in one time when you go swimming, they, uh, they give you two tries in that one time. If you don't pass those two tries, then you, you have to come back another day, and that's during uh, days when you're in boot camp, which you don't want to do. So that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys took some advice to learn how to swim because you don't want to be in boot camp even longer than you have to. Trust me. Trust me. I went to boot camp for six weeks. Now it's eight weeks plus two weeks if you have quarantine. So you could possibly be in boot camp longer than 10 weeks if you do not know how to swim. You do not want to be in boot camp no longer than you have to. Trust me when I say this. That's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you turn on the post notifications so you never miss a future video. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you want, you could DM me on, on Instagram. Any questions that you don't want to comment under uh, YouTube because, you know, might be personal or something like that, personal question, or you might be a little bit embarrassed. Hey, just DM me on Instagram. I don't mind. And uh, remember, demonstration speaks louder than conversation. Peace.